Hello? Yes, sir. This is the 911 operator calling you back. Why did you hang up? Oh, no, because you said you couldn't help me. I didn't, ask I you didn't say help I couldn't you help said. you. I said I don't know what you're talking about. Are you it are was... you seeing something flying in no. the sky? No, I'm not saying I'm not saying nothing at all. I was on Twitter and I saw um, a UFO was spotted. And they sent my they sent me pictures and my little brother's in College Park, so I got a little worried. That's all. Do you know where in College Park? Uh, no, but it, I just hear it's a lot of traffic and it's backed up. Okay, where, maybe I'm wrong. I just what, thought what you would have to. What did you say it was something. near? What location in College Park? College Park is a large area. Well, did they say what location it was near? College Park. College Park. Where? Well, College Park's not that big. The they said it was on the highway. I'm guessing Route 1. And what intersection? And what intersection? Um, I can't see. No one, no, no one, one has said anything about it. And what is it near? Was it near the college or near the Ikea? Was it near the college or near the Ikea? They haven't said anything. <laughs> they just said it was a military, a military drone being transported. Okay, but you got to give me a location so I can send someone out to look in that area. Uh, I just need a location now. Hold on one second. What does it look like? It don't feel it. It don't, it don't say anything. Like, uh, just, the information is just kind of like... I thought you like said school. he sent you a picture. Yeah, I can send you a picture. No, I said, what does it look like in the picture? It looked like a UFO, to be honest with you. Like, that's why I was kind of scared. Okay, what's your name? Stephon. And what's your, the callback number? I can just... Calls you on. This, this number hey, right here. Give good. me a cross read, Route One and what? Um. Uh, okay. Route One and what? I, I'm. I'm not. I don't. It hasn't said where it was really located. It said in College Park. I mean, was it near the University of Maryland? Is it near? You do you know um, where College Park is? Yeah, I know where College Park is. So, what are some of the landmarks or something that's nearby? I, I need to find that information out, to be honest with you. I, I don't, the information I got is real school, so I don't really know too okay, much. Okay, describe the I just picture. Got a little word. What does the picture look like? Um, What does the picture look like? A UFO? I mean, I don't really know. I, never, I don't see too many UFOs on the regular picture. I mean, does it's it like, look like a, like a Martian type of thing, or does it look like yeah. a spaceship? Yeah. Is it possible that you can get on Twitter right now? Is trending UFO? No, I can't trending? get on Twitter. No, oh, I... Well, I mean, I, I I just got a little worried. I mean, it's okay if you can help if you can't help me, but I'll just just keep texting him and make sure he's okay. Okay, you can call us back if you have further information, sir. Okay, thank you. First, we want to talk about this, folks. Talking about this last night, it is pictures from Twitter on what many saw on the Beltway last night, right around 11 o'clock. It looks like a UFO on the back of a flatbed truck. People who called us say they began seeing it on 270, then got it on the Beltway before <laughs> heading off on East 210. So what was it, Mel? First of all, are they taking pictures while they're driving? I don't know if they should be doing that. Anyway, uh, Maryland State Police say it is actually a drone aircraft made by Northrop Grumman. It was being transported from West Virginia to Patuxent Naval Air Station in Maryland. There have been numerous sightings of similar aircraft in other states, all of them headed to Pax River. Uh, here's a picture when the same aircraft rolled through Kansas last year, again on its way to Maryland. The Defense Tech website reported last December that engineers actually practice aircraft carrier takeoffs and landings with the drone on a strip of runway at Patuxent at, that is painted to resemble a carrier's flight deck. So okay, there's the answer, but yeah. can you imagine seeing that on a flatbed? You'd be like, what is going on? Still very interesting <laughs> that they're practicing that, you know, practically right in our backyard. Absolutely. All right. And I saw um, a UFO was spotted, and they sent, my, they sent me pictures, and my little brother's in College Park, so I got a little worried. A UFO on the Beltway, the suspicions and the theories after an unidentified object is spotted being rolled around town. Washington, a buzz today when people thought they saw a UFO. The huge silver object was pulled into the region on a flatbed truck late last night, but it was not a flying saucer. It was a drone. Fox News' John Henrahan joins us now with uh, this out of the world story. John? I was, Laura was a UFO, all right, an unidentified flatbed object. Flatbed because it was on the back of a flatbed truck. Somebody snapped some photos of the curious object, and the Twitterverse briefly went nuts. Unlike these old UFO photos of mysterious objects in the sky, the UFO that cruised down I-270 and then across the top of the Capitol Beltway Wednesday night came on the back of a flatbed truck. 
it looked something like a flying saucer, so people snapped camera phone photos, and the Twitterverse exploded with speculation. Somebody concerned for a relative in College Park called police in Prince George's County. What does the picture look like? Um, what does the picture look like? A UFO? I mean, I don't really know. I, never, I don't see too many UFOs in the regular picture. I mean, does it look like, like, uh, like a Martian type of thing, or does it look like yeah. a spaceship? Yeah. Is it possible that you can get on Twitter right now? Is trending UFOs? No, I can't trending? get on Twitter. No, oh, I... Well, I mean, I, I, I just got a little worried. Well, it turns out the mysterious object on the truck cruising around D.C. was a flying object, an experimental unmanned aircraft called the X-47B. We spoke by phone with Brooks McKinney from Northrop Grumman, who confirmed the drone is somewhat saucer-like in design because it was designed to fly without a tail. A shape that minimizes its reflection of potential radar, enemy radar signals. The spacey looking thing on the truck Wednesday night is one of two X-47Bs that have now been delivered to Patuxent Naval Air Station. The drones are being tested there before further testing aboard Navy aircraft carriers. So why not fly the drones to Maryland from Edwards Air Force Base in California? Northrop Grumman says the FAA is not yet keen on transcontinental unmanned flights. Besides, the manufacturer says, trucking the spacey aircraft was actually cheaper. Well, fl flying them in might get people talking as well. So, John, I'm curious what, uh, what these particular aircraft are designed for. Uh, Northrop Grumman says dual use. You can use them for surveillance of the enemy, or they can be weaponized. They can deliver uh, bombs or, or shooting. It's, it's like a jet without a pilot that goes on and on and on, because back on the aircraft carrier, you just, different guys use the joystick. Mm -hmm. Very interesting, peaking lots of interest last night. Very, very good. Thanks, John Henrahan, thank you.